I'm Helen Smith, I'm from RMIT University in Melbourne and the project we're doing here at uh, World Skills um, came out of some work done by a Finnish researcher and happened a little bit by chance because when I was at Calgary the uh, researcher Petri Norkalainen was giving a presentation on his work and it was fairly clear quickly that this was the sort of work that would be very important in, a, in an Australian context. As one of the problems, um, if you're interested in improving the quality of vocational education and training, is there's not a whole lot of research that gives you good data and um, good stories about what makes for really high quality in um, vocational learning. So what we're doing here is collecting information from competitors, judges, also uh, family members, um, about their experience of being involved in world skills. So it's very simple, it's a quite short questionnaire and it asks the person to tell a story about their experience. Why did they get involved in world skills? What would they tell somebody who asked them why they, why they bothered giving up their time to be involved in the competition? Um, so what we're hoping to do with the data is to have um, rich data, stories that we can use for a range of purposes, um, including to take back to TAFE providers, to talk to employers about, to say this is why this sort of competition is really important. Hi, my name is Petri Nokelainen. I work from Finnish University of Tampere, that's located in Hämeenlinna. And I've been doing since 2007 a study uh, that involves all the Finnish team World Skills competition participants. And now we've been collecting data from Sichuoka team, Calgary team, and 2005 Helsinki team. And this is uh, natural, uh, basically basic research, and we try to uh, end up with the characteristics that specify the most successful and least successful World Skills participants. And now uh, my connection to this uh, Australian team is that I gave a presentation of my research findings in Calgary um, international competition and Helen Smith happened to be there and so my presentation and asked me to uh, start a research collaboration so we just uh, ended up doing a, a similar survey here in uh, here with the Australian team and also a second order derivation of that study that's uh, more like a pra practical implication of how these basic research findings could be benefit beneficial to uh, basic level students and uh, national team members. So uh, my aim while being here in Australia is, is try to uh, look up the further research design, try to create a new uh, measurement model for, for longitudinal study and to expand this Finnish research uh, design to, to international, uh, to involve in other international countries like America and uh, UK alongside with Australia, perhaps Singapore too. So we aim to collect uh, national, international uh, research evidence database that could benefit all the, uh, all the decision makers, policy makers, education, ed educators and also all the other parties involved in this world skills competition. Hi, my name is Chris Fletcher. I'm from Emerging Options and we're working with the MOVE project to help them collect large volumes of experiences of competitors, of judges, of trainers, of family members, of competitors and also employers down the track. What we're trying to do is get people's experiences of what they've been doing in the competition and to actually be able to get them to provide the context for the experience they've provided. We'll use this to actually make sense of all the experiences being told and look at the patterns we see in the data which has come out of it.